If you're looking into living in Sebastian, Florida and you seek the quintessential boat life experience, look no further because today I'm gonna highlight Sebastian's best boating communities where you can live, dock your boat, enjoy the water views and lean into that Jimmy Buffett lifestyle. In his famous words, shells sink, dreams float, life is good on our boat. Sebastian, Florida is primarily made up of residential homes, mostly single family with some condominiums and townhomes sparingly sprinkled in there. It extends from the Indian River out west to Interstate 95, and there is a thin stretch of island that separates the Indian River from the Atlantic Ocean. And while it's technically part of Sebastian, most residents refer to this as Orchid Island. And today, I'm gonna be talking with you actually about the areas you can live with your boat on the mainland of Sebastian. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell if you want first access to my new videos as they drop. And if you're looking at homes in the area and seeking the advice of a local professional, give us a call at 772-205-3353. So in my true fashion, I'm gonna jump right in here and give you a list of communities in Sebastian that have navigable waterway access where you can dock your boat. Disclaimer, Yes, you can live elsewhere in Sebastian that is not on the water and store your boat alongside your house as long as there's space. However, in this video, we're talking about the most ideal quintessential boater's dream where you can reside and have your boat ready to ride at a moment's notice without the hassle of hauling it and putting it in a ramp. I also want to point out that there are waterway, uh, waterfront homes sprinkled all throughout Sebastian along our canals as well. But it's important to note that these are not navigable. So while you'd be able to kayak, fish, enjoy the water view, it's not going to be the same experience as living on a navigable waterway. So along the border of uh, Highway US-1, we do have a number of residential communities that sit right on the Indian River. Just to name them off, we have River Boat Club, Pelican Point, Naranja Trail, which is 44th Avenue, right off of the Wabasso Bridge, Island Harbor, Dale's Landing, Floravin Shores, and River Run Condos. Now, just north of Floravin Shores, right about where Indian River Drive splits off of US-1, you will find multi-acre riverfront parcels, which rarely come on the market, actually. They're beautiful plots of land with direct river frontage, and they typically host some unique little home or big home. Um, the other area perfect for waterfront boat life is also along the St. Sebastian River, which splits Indian River and Brevard County. On the south side, you have Sebastian, more specifically the like Roseland area of Sebastian. And on the north side, you have Grant Valkyria. So the parcels of land that you're gonna find along the Sebastian border of the St. Sebastian River are gonna vary widely. Many will be more of those multi-acre properties ranging from like two, one to two to five acres, give or take. And some are gonna be like the smaller subdivided lots, not really within an organized community. Um, the communities that do have river frontage on the St. Sebastian River are gonna be uh, River's Edge, Point of Woods, and like the tail of that river snakes down and reaches into Cross Creek Estates, where it starts to get pretty shallow there. Each one of these communities along the river here that I'm talking about, all the ones that I named off for you, uh, they're all going to be pretty unique to their specific little neighborhoods. And they're gonna have you know, pros and cons just as any area would. If you're interested in diving a little deeper and getting more information, leave me a comment below. I can see that. I can reach back out to you and get you the information you're looking for. I can connect you with one of our agents. You can go look at some of the options that are available in the area and like really get um, a more pointed search going on. But I just want to empower you with the information so that you know there's a lot of great waterfront options for those boaters out there. And um, again, if you want any more information uh, specific, leave me a comment below. I'm happy to get that over to you, no obligation. 
So in summary, Sebastian has some wonderful waterfront options for the boater, water lover, and dreamer. With direct access to the Indian River and St. Sebastian River, there's really so much fun and enjoyment to be had along the water from like leisurely boating activities, island hopping, fishing, and so many other activities in between. And what you should know is that Sebastian waterfront homes are highly sought after and securing one can be a pretty competitive process. If you have your eyes on Sebastian real estate, make sure you partner with a professional in the area with a high level of expertise, experience, and knowledge. That's gonna be your winning ticket. Please make sure to punch that like button and smash that little bell so that you can get more content like this as soon as we post it. Now, happy boating. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.